she's the senior partner of the One Law Partners and with 13 years of experience as a judge and she was a former vice president of lawyers for Democratic Society and the former minister of justice in Korea. So uh, she was the first female minister of justice in Korea. I never imagined to meet her uh, in person in my life. So, <laughs> my life. Uh, so uh, she's worked for the uh, People for Earth Forum right now. Uh, so let's welcome uh, Kim Ji Hong. including 
on ecocentrism and cosmology school. John Jusitsky canceled a huge shopping mall project to replace him with an echo park. It also hosted the conference for economics of happiness. Many local governments established sustainable development committees under the motto, Think Global, Act Local. Now, the national government is setting up the presidential committee for sustainable development. As we can see, there are many changes taking place in Korea at community levels. Additionally, the Green Party was established in Korea following the aftermath of Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2012. Also, in 2016, the Catholic Church of Korea, nation's most influential religious body, established a, few, a new ecological organization, another family of hope. Lastly, I would like to talk about social economy. After the Framework Act in 2012, on the Framework Act on Cooperatives in 2012 went into effect, social economy movement spread out through the Korean society. The current administration put forward social economy as the alternative to economic growth without employment and economic inequality. So social economy is one that is based on common good and social values. It changes the economy from one that is capital-centered to centered around human relationships. It has the potential, I think, to expand to include the relationship between human and nature when we realize that economy can exist only in harmony with nature. As I have pointed out, in South Korea, technocracy and ecological values are coexistent with each other now. There is the reason interdisciplinary dialogues are needed. This conference is significant in the respect that it brings together many disciplines for South Korea. Korea is moving towards the tipping point. We are going into a new phase. What we need is a new concept that can be the foundation for a change and that is ecological civilization. I believe this conference can be the beginning for such ecological progress. Thank you. two minutes if we want to, if there are any questions that are burning that you really want to ask either of our, our speakers, I don't know, John, if you have a, if you wanted to respond, or, yeah. Uh, uh, well, I, I just say it seems to me that uh, concerns for many of the things we mean by ecological civilization are already deeply rooted in what, in what we're hearing described. So, probably South Korea doesn't have as far to go to get to an ecological civilization as the United States for it. No. John, I have a question. Um, how many architects or planners are attending here today? So you and I are the only two. I mean, I, I want to say as a licensed architect and a trained planner who studied this man, and I just met John two weeks ago, I'm professionally embarrassed that my own profession doesn't have the balls to stand up and just 
even ask ourselves the question, uh, the questions that you're answering. I mean, as a high school boy, I was fascinated with Paolo Soleri. And uh, like you said, he didn't live to see anything but a couple of, you know, Julia Schulman photographs, you know, photographing a dome. I mean, I'm really appreciative of you starting this dialogue, and um, I hope it permeates itself into our professional circles. I mean, as a building architect, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and I hope we get some mass, um, you know, publicity. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let, let, let me just this time to his embarrassment. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I had felt the same way, I don't have a hope, but uh, it didn't take very long to realize that there are a group of people who theorize things. At the same time, there are another group of people like uh, civil engineers, architects, and uh, other uh, chem, uh, chemists, and, and that type of uh, technical people, practical people who make these things happen in the real world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so you know, I, quite frankly, I, I don't expect a lot from these uh, theoreticians. They, 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 are, <laughs> they are enjoying uh, uh, doing that, and uh, we are the one who make, make it uh, happen. Yeah, but I, don't expect, I, don't expect anything, I don't expect anything from the real world anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I used to say, if I have to go one step further, I'd say that all the theoreticians, they, they don't even know how to make a toothpick, and they talk about a lot of things. <laughs> it certainly uh, bring together theory and practice, ideas and action is exactly what we want to see. Did you uh, did you have a burning thought or, or perfect? So uh, we're going to take a quick five minute break. Uh, there's uh, some coffee and tea and other snacks outside, uh, and then we're uh, we'll transition into our next session. Hello. Uh, 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 uh,
No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to reuse it. Exactly. I'm stealing it myself. 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 I'm stealing it